This is the video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Friday, September 23rd, 2022. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This month on Fridays, we're taking questions from our Soul Matters theme um, pamphlets, and, uh, and I'm trying to answer them as part of these updates. The question that I want to take up today is whose inability to belong breaks your heart? This is a good opportunity to test out themes that might eventually be a sermon, but aren't quite 20 minutes yet. So there's a lot of really good ways to answer this question. Whose ability, inability to belong breaks your heart? Folks of color, trans folks, any number of groups that we talk about often who are marginalized in society and, and who are told that they don't belong over and over, that is heartbreaking. But one thing that we don't talk about as much, that I, I don't know that I've talked about in the context of this church, about where my heart breaks, is this epidemic that we're seeing of, of alienated young men. And my heart breaks in particular with this group because I see it. For the folks that grew up in my generation who look and sound like me, our privilege meant that we grew up with the expectation of success. Whether or not that was fair, it was what we were told when we were five, ten years old. Success that has often not come through economic downturns, our own choices, a changing culture, any number of things. So even as we as a church are doing this work of equity to draw the circle wide, even as we as a culture are doing that work, we have this whole population of young, mostly white men who feel like the message in the dominant culture is that they no longer belong. Who in their disappointment and anger turn to versions of masculinity and politics that are performative hateful and promise a return to a world that puts them on a pedestal. It's horrifying, but it's also heartbreaking. So something to put a pin in for some later sermon. A question that I've been puzzling with over the last couple of years how, is how do we develop a healthy masculinity? detached from the hatred, homophobia, and misogyny that is so often a part of traditional expressions.